guys, this is Mike, Center for Windows. What's going on guys, this is Mike. I'm actually happy to introduce ProPresenter for Windows. Uh, we're actually going to be using this at 220, uh, coming up in just a few, a couple months. Dun dun dun, I know a few of you are, uh, scared of this because you actually like easy worship. Because you say it's easy, but this is actually going to be a lot more professional, uh, looking. But, uh, just to give you a little lowdown of it, uh, uh, just to get, show you, like, the top toolbar, uh, this basically, if we have something on the screen, we want to make the screen all black, you just click on that, and everything disappears. And notice, for right now, we haven't registered the product yet, so, uh, you're going to see this watermark during this video. Uh, clear slides, uh, let's say if we had this up, this beautiful text phrase. It wants to love me and come up. There we go. Uh, if we want to take that off, you just here click uh, clear slides and uh, backgrounds. Uh, let's say we have an image of that's our background to a song, like that beautiful shot of 220 before all the lights got messed up. No, just kidding. Uh, you would just hit, hit clear uh, BKGs, which is backgrounds. Uh, there is a way to change the transition, but I'm gonna get into that. Well, later on. Uh, props, uh, you can use, if, let's say we want to, I'm going int to introduce props in just a minute. Audio, we're really not going to use, but, yeah, you can obviously tell what that does. Uh, that just clears the audio. Uh, logo, uh, that's just, right now it's the Pro Presenter logo, but we, that just puts the logo up on the screen. You can just, like, change it if you edit it. Uh, this button just creates a new song or a document. Uh, right down here is your library. Actually, let me make this a little smaller. I know, obviously, I've only type, typed one song. Hopefully, I don't have to type them all. Uh, but this is your library. You can filter. You can basically just search by presentation. Uh, however you filter, the, uh, you can filter through media, whatever. And then the title will just show up here. A template? Um... I've been just getting into that, but it's just like a way how you want to present a message up on the screen. Uh, editor lets you edit the song. See, here's your slide editor. And uh, video and image, that just toggles that, that little drop off down there, but we're going to keep that up at all times. Audio, if you want to play an audio file, or you can open the audio bin, which brings that up to the side. Normally, we'll keep that closed. Uh, messages. Uh, let's say, I don't know, you want to say Brad is from Alabama, I don't know. Basically, just go here and go, Brad's from Alabama. I'm not even sure if I spelled Alabama right, but hit send message. And it shows up right there, you can position it wherever you want. That's what the templates are for, and then you just hide, hit hide to take it off. Uh, props. This, this is what this is. If we wanted to say, oh yeah, let's say we're doing a live cam, which half the time we won't through a computer because our cheesy little 220 computer won't even let us come close to doing it. Uh, you could just type in, if we have a prop there, you you could just type in, you can add text and just be like, Brad Harvey, high school pastor, Cullen Allen, high school pastor, Greg Jacobs. Junior high pastor, whatever. Uh, clocks that just shows like time countdowns. You show countdowns up on the screen, which I doubt we'll ever use. I'm not sure. Store if you're at JV, you probably won't use that 220. I know we definitely won't because we don't even have internet access at uh, 220. Uh, songs like uh, you might use that at Alice Park Church if you're doing JV. Uh, 220, we probably won't. Bibles, we don't have Bible scriptures installed, but, uh, but normally you would just put in there and type in, like, Romans, oh, we do have it, uh, anyway, you would just type in a passage, one not DVD, um, that's just, like, that's mainly used on the Apple version, but you need something else on there, so, uh, basically, so, Pro Presenter, all you have to really do to, uh, sorry about that. 
uh, all you really have to do to switch to the slides is just click on them and it will transition and normally we'll have a background up just like that pretty picture of 20 now let's say you want to do a fast format because you notice like for example if you can see past the watermark there's no shadow on these words you can go into format and let's say we want to add the shadow which I don't know how to do well I'm gonna to have to look through this but uh <laughs> let's say we want to change the font to uh alright let's say century gothic basically hit that and hit apply to all and then if you want it, want it to go back on you just have to click on the slide again so, sorry and proper center is responding for some weird reason uh Anytime yeah, and sometimes that will happen. Mainly, what we'll do, we'll keep it center aligned and center in the stage. Hit apply to all. Then, if you want to set it again, just click on those same words. Or let's say, because my computer keeps saying on, on not responding, let's say you want to go to the next slide. And there you go, we'll go back. And then, like I said, transition through. And we'll clear all. Now, playlists, I'll normally come early and make the playlist, but uh, let's say, let's see, minimize. Anyway, I'll make the playlist probably early. Uh, foreground videos, if we need to play a video out of there, we'll, uh, most like. Um, we'll most likely play them out of the foregrounds because for some reason you can't drag them into your playlist, which is really stupid. Uh, if you purchase something out of the store, uh, that's going to show up in that bin. CM series, I'm going to put the backgrounds in there. Uh, BG series, I'll put backgrounds in there. And random, I'll put in there. So that is about it. Uh, if you have any other questions, just feel free to email me. Um, so this is that's just the basics of ProPresenter for Windows. Uh, we will most definitely have it at 220. Latest city reach. So, most likely. Alright, take care guys.